This is becoming a habit. Starting off our road trip at Starbucks. Our road trip today took us to downtown Winnipeg, the Manitoba Museum. I thought it was called Manitoba Museum of Man and Nature, but it just says Manitoba Museum on it. Probably couldn't have the uh, word man in there anymore. <laughs> well, there's Manitoba. That's true. It's only a matter of time before they change that, too. <laughs> there's also a planetarium here. There's all kinds of cool stuff. We're just waiting on somebody. Finish his lunch. Before we can go in. Couple of sips away, bud. And then a good couple of burps. I haven't been to this uh, museum since I was a kid. Yeah, it's probably been about 25 years for each of us. It's a popular place. Most schools take their uh, take the kids here as a field trip. But now there's also the Museum of Human Rights in Winnipeg, too, that we haven't gone to. Yeah, the so one have, by the Forks. Yeah, we have two big museums in town now. Our first recreational outing as a family. Is it a real horse? It looks like a real one. Very realistic. Britt loves this one. I've always wanted to see one of these, because I always see these on TikTok. I didn't know that Manitoba had one. A giant ground sloth. That's a sloth. That's crazy. So this was in Manitoba? Eight hundred thousand to ten thousand years old. Argentina. Okay, this is not a dinosaur. Oh, so a giant ground sloth. South America, South and North America, including Western Canada. Wow. So Western Canada had these giant sloths. We have arrived at the same time as many young people on their field trips. <laughs> it's a constant revolving door during the week. A little bit noisy in here. This is a uh, polar bear. What's that? <laughs> Thank you.
That is a little graphic. I believe that those are the biggest bears in the world, right? They're bigger than grizzlies? Yeah, they're the biggest bear in the world. Yeah. Northern Manitoba is their home, actually. Poor seal. Let's hope it was quick. Poor seal, but lucky bear.
we had to backtrack a little bit. But the museum was fun, eh, Theo? Eh? The museum was pretty fun, wasn't it? Maybe. Maybe not. It's a museum, but it was our first little family outing. We stopped at A&W here on the way. And Britt changed uh, his diaper in the washroom here on the change table. And we bring along our own little changing pad. A little you know, pillow on it for him and everything. And she forgot it in the bathroom here. And uh, she's coming back with it now. Luckily they still had it. Apparently they had thrown it in the garbage. But they went and fished it out for us. <laughs> How was it? <laughs> Oops. I'm <laughs> learning. <laughs> Forgot everything else. They threw it in the garbage though? I guess so, but like, it doesn't look dirty. Like, I think it was just thrown in with a bunch of paper towels, but I'm still gonna wash it and I didn't touch it. It's just in this dirty laundry bag. It's a, it's a really nice change pad. It has a little it pillow is. on it for him and stuff. Yeah, just threw it in the garbage. It matches our diaper bags, so. Yeah. It's okay, it can be washed on delicate, I'm sure. Yeah, we're new. We're learning. Amateurs, hey Theo? Chevy. Chevy, did you have fun at the museum? Well, it was a museum. Had about as much fun as one can have at a museum. He had a great nap, though. What's going on, little man? I hear you're a little bit... Uh, squirmy? Squirmy right now and hard I'm to punching. deal with. You punching a lot? You, you punching, punching your mom? I was just wiping the fuzz off your face, mister. He's a little cranky right now. Excuse me. Man. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> he wants to go back to that museum. Yeah. He didn't see all the exhibits. That's what it is. He slept through it. He wants to go back. He regrets his choices. Why are you being so fussy? What's going on, honey? He seems to get like this in the evenings now and into the night. He's still on a night schedule. We can't quite break that habit of his or that, that cycle. He sleeps lately. You know, he had a couple of really good nights where he was sleeping almost like four hours. Two and a half to three to four maybe. Now lately he's been sleeping two two max two hours and then he's he's up he's hungry he's uncomfortable mm. we're getting there every day is a learning process his diaper's fine diaper's, diaper's fine he's fed he just got burped yeah. he just doesn't want the sun to go down i get it i don't want the day to end either that was an exciting museum day. Looks like there's going to be rain coming in, though. Speaking of rain, we've actually had uh, some developments. Look at our yard. The snow's gone. It melted so fast, it actually flooded our whole yard. You can sort of see the neighbor's yard over there is still pretty flooded. It was completely flooded right over to their shed over there, but I pumped it out. <laughs> Their yard's lower than ours, so the water's pretty much on that side of the fence. And our yard was underwater, except for one tiny little pathway, like right in the middle of the yard there, this is all water. It, the snow melted so fast, and the ground is still frozen, so it couldn't sink down. We had this problem last year as well. But this year, <laughs> I brought my pump. And I, I put the pump over here in the lowest spot, and I ran a two-inch hose all the way out to the street, and I pumped all the water up to the street and it can go down and find a drain somewhere and go into the storm drain. It's all just snow melt. And look at that. I didn't dry up the yard, but it will be dry now. At least there's no more water sitting there. Neighbor's yard, a little bit lower. I can't get my pump close enough there. I'd have to get his permission to go onto his side to pump if he wanted me to, but yeah, the snow's all gone. Crazy, right? So thanks for joining us today. Thanks for hanging out with us, coming to the museum with us. That was a lot of fun as our first little family outing. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. I have a couple more days, and we got to get ready to go on the, on the road. Tomorrow I'm going to be getting the truck ready. I've got to uh, get the bedding in there. I want to take everything out first, detail it, clean it out, 
and put only the stuff back in that I actually need, sort of purge everything, because I, I gather junk after a while. Clean that all out, wash the outside, and uh, start getting ready. In a few days, we're going to be hitting the road again. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you.